Right over keels. Actual naval stories. Dark thunderstorm clouds lowered over the Black Sea. Lightning flashes lit up the deck of a Soviet destroyer and a man with an axe barely standing on his feet. Petty officer Vladimir Sekhnyashvili was going to fight for his ship once more, only this time against the raging elements. But three months a great threat loomed over the USSR. Germany invaded Soviet territory. In the autumn of 1941, the Soviet destroyer Bespushadny straddled German and Romanian troops when they were crossing the estuary. Bespushadny's artillery men showed their best, thanks to the accurate calculations of gunner Sekhnyashvili. Salvos from the destroyer's guns hit the target without mercy. The bridge is down. They're swimming in the estuary. And the answer from the shore. We need more fire. At that moment, a sailor on the lookout for enemy forces produced a deafening whistle and pointed towards the horizon. German Junkers aircraft were quickly approaching. 22 German bomber planes attacked the ship. Aircraft dove on the Soviet destroyer from different directions, dropping one bomb after another. Vesposhadny desperately maneuvered, trying to evade the attacks. Columns of water from near misses constantly showered the deck. The hull was damaged, and the ship began to take in water. The destroyer started to lose speed, and one of the Junkers broke through the barrage fire and dropped two bombs, not leaving the ship any chance to dodge them. It was a terrible explosion. The ship survived, but the bow part of the hull was barely held in place by twisted exterior plating. The enemy aircraft flew away. After the battle, Bespushatny was towed to Sevastopol aft first. But the weather was against the ship. As the storm grew stronger, the situation for the destroyer became critical and required immediate action. That's when Petty Officer Sekhnyashvili armed himself with an axe and descended into the fracture on a rope. Fierce waves and wind knocked him against the ship's side, but the gunner did not stop. Strike after strike for an entire hour, he chopped at the exterior plating until he managed to cut off the bow part of the destroyer. And it sank. For the rest of the journey, a rescue vessel covered the mutilated hull of Bespochadny from behind, thus protecting her from the waves. In Sevastopol, the wounded destroyer was repaired and awarded the Order of the Red Banner. Vladimir Sekhnyashvili received the Order of the Red Star and the U.S. Distinguished Service Medal. The gunner remained loyal to his ship until the end. Together, they bravely fought the enemy for another year and died a hero's death in October 1943.